Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. So, as you can see, I have some beautiful Edith Holden things on my desk. I'm finally ready to um, actually start making the altered file folders that have been in the works for a little while now. Um, but I think it's finally time that I just sit down and do them. Um, I'm going to take it slow because this is my first time doing them. Um, but I thought I would just, you know, record the process for anyone who wants to watch, uh, wants to see what I'm up to and just generally have me on in the background, maybe. Um, so I'm going to be doing two file folders. Um, I've got this one, which is going to have the foxglove on the front. And this one, if I remember correctly, is going to have this um, daisy image from the Nature Notes book on the cover. I'm only going to be making this one on video though, um, the other one I will do off camera as we go along because um, otherwise it's too much of the, the same sort of stuff going on. Right, so um, we've made lots of the ephemera together. Um, some pieces I've made on my own if they were just, you know, simple or um, didn't make for a very good video, etc, etc. But for the most part we have done a lot of things together. So, um, I will show you first of all how I'm having it laid out. Okie dokie. So, um, these are American sized file folders. Um, you can buy them from Amazon. Tanya from Tatty Treasure also sells them in smaller packs um, if you don't want to buy a box of 100 at a time. Um, and they are a nice manila colour, so it does go well with Edith Holden. Now, I should say. Um, I've been inspired by Tanya from Teddy Treasure to do the file folder. I'm of course doing it in my own style and my own way, but um, I have been inspired by her. So I will link um, her channel and her videos down below in case you've not come across her before. So this is what we have. <laughs> um, so we're obviously going to have the fox gloves on the front. It's going to have a journal in the inside. So I have put a spine in them. Um, now I can't actually remember how big I did it. I think it was about half an inch because they are also going to have a journal as well as the different flips and flaps. So we're going to open up and you're going to have the journal here on elastics is the plan. Here we've got a window envelope which is going to flip out and on the back here we're going to have these three uh, pockets that I've made from the book pages. And on the front here, I'm probably going to have something up here. I'm just not sure yet. This is probably going to be collaged in some way, something like that. Here, we're going to have a flip down CD wallet. So that's going to be attached on here somehow. So that's going to flip down and have something on the back, like so. That reveals this paper pocket, which might change. I just know that I definitely want a paper pocket on there. So. Uh, this is a paper bag with the bottom folded up, so we've got a, uh, a pocket in the front there and in the back as well, so that we can have like a nice big uh, journal card or something. So that's that panel. And then this is going to flip out and have this on here. Um, so we made these together, um, one of my junk mail envelopes, so we've got a side tuck just in there. Um, and then it's also got a um, a pocket in the side of the envelope as well. Um, and then in the back, we've got two pockets here, which are going to have large journal cards in. And this is where I got stuck. Um, so I'm pretty sure I know what I want to do. I know that one of the sides I want to have a, um, a pocket that's going to be a fussy cut pocket. But... I'm not sure about the other side just yet, but I thought, you know what, let's just start getting things down that I know I'm sure of, and hopefully this will just be an interesting process for you guys to watch. So, basically, we want to take it an envelope at a time. So, I'm going to start with this envelope here, um, and I've got these cut out, so this is just um, Edith Holden text. Um, which are going to be my mats for the envelopes. Um, and I've sewn around everything that I want to use, um, just in a cream thread, so you can't actually see it. Um, but I felt like 
it just finished things off and I wanted the front to be sewn and stuff as well. So I think my first job is to um, do some inking. So I'm just going to hit pause whilst I do that because yeah that won't be very fun to watch and I'll be right back. Okay so I'm going to use my Kalal for matting everything um, and that's just because it gives you wiggle room. It's nice and quick. It's a cheap glue and because it's just paper on paper I don't need anything you know particularly extraordinary <laughs> as far as glues go. Um, it would help though if I had it open. It's a very very hot today. Um, we've, we've essentially approached the 30 degrees Celsius here in the UK which is uh, almost unheard of for most of the time. It's, uh, it's not something we're used to. So my glues <laughs> are having a little bit of a strike moment and uh, yeah, they don't, they don't like it. Okie dokie. Right, I need to make sure I've got this the right way around so that's gonna flip out this way. Perfect, so let's pop this down. Okay, so that's that one. Now we said about having a, um, where is it? Um, yeah, we said about having the flip down CD wallet. So I'm gonna get this glued on now because then that way the second mat on the back of the envelope will um, hide my flap. So essentially we're gonna have this be on here like that. So let's get that glued on. Hopefully I'm in, in frame for you. Okay. Now I haven't opened up the CD wallet yet but because it flips down, it's not a problem to just Get that on there. Okay, so let me just check. Yep, so we're going to open this way and then this can flip down. And I'll probably, yeah, want to cover up that, put some washi on and it's such like, but essentially we're going to have that piece. And then this uh, side of the envelope, I want to have this whole bigger envelope be a pocket. Um, probably. So I want to glue everywhere but this piece of the envelope because obviously that will affect our pocket. So I'm going to come in still using the Kalal but obviously being quite careful with it like this. Now it probably would have been a good idea to have uh, tea dyed this envelope before using it but you don't see hardly any of it, so I am, um, yeah, I didn't bother. <laughs> and then we're just going to take a, a thinner nozzle and put some glue along this edge, which will help to close up the pocket or give it a, um, give the pocket a, you know, a, a side to get to. So, just get that on there. The usual story, if I need to go in with extra glue, then I can do that, no problem. Okay, so let's remind ourselves how this is gonna be. So this, flap is going to sit on the inside of the file folder where this is open. Um, so we're going to have this flip down, this is going to flip out and then if it makes sense I'll put a pocket in the in the envelope. If it doesn't make sense then I won't bother. Um, I 
probably will have one, but if I change my mind, I change my mind. But yeah, that's essentially how we're going to be. Right, so what's next? Okay, so let's have a little think about this um, CD wallet as our next step. So we're going to have this flip down. I've got this piece cut from the book as well. I'm thinking even though it's that plus that, that's going to have something on it. You know, it's going to have our um, something like this, which breaks up the, the text, which is good. Um, and we can have something on this. I thought for the backgrounds, the text was a good shout because then, you know, it's neutral and we can put whatever we like on the on the piece then. So I'm going to get this stuck down onto the back of the CD wallet. Um, it's funny actually, I'm, I'm talking out, I'm talking out loud for obvious reasons as a video, but I'm saying everything that I'm doing because I'm part telling you, but I'm also part telling myself. Um, <laughs> I find it is that it's a good way to tell yourself what it is that you're trying to achieve here. Um, so Justine, you're putting this down on the back of your CD wallet. That's what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So I'm going up as high as I can go, uh, up this way, um, so that we don't have as much envelope showing because we can always trim off this part because we need to open the envelope anyway. So that's what I'm doing. Now, when I make my envelope folios, which I have, I have done one on video with you, um, I like to use a lot of washi. Now, because I'm working with the Edith Holden, I don't think the washi makes as much sense this time around. So I'm going to have to use extra ink um, without wanting it to be grungy or dark, because that doesn't really go with Edith Holden either. OK, so I'm just slipping in my CD wallet. Hopefully that's straight, <laughs> she says. Yeah, it looks straight to me, that's fine. And I still need to decide whether I want this envelope to be a pocket as well. Um, I said I did, didn't I? So we also need to open up a slither from this envelope. Thinking. That should be, hopefully, enough of a slither. Might need to go in a little bit more. So, I have taken off a slither, and it's only gone as far as this down my envelope. Not the whole way down. Um, as I say, my, my blade is a little bit, getting a little bit blunt. But... I actually think I want to stay with that. The reason I mention it is because um, we're going to have a paper bag pocket here. And if you're going to put something in there, there's a chance that this might get in the way of the bit down here. And I'm thinking I'm going to work with my limitations on this one. And then that way we can have something slightly different from what I would normally do. So normally I would have, you know, a, a journal card the whole way down. Now I'm thinking this will give us the opportunity to just have something yay big which would be different I think providing we don't have any problems with the the envelope ripping or anything it's quite a strong envelope but that's kind of what I'm gonna work with for now um but I'm not gonna rush to glue anything down in case I <laughs> change my mind Okie dokie, so that's that. So we have done this. This is open, isn't it? Yep, we've opened that fine. Great. Um, this is the card I'm going to have fit in there. Uh, this is just some of the uh, picture 
and I've just backed it onto manila card. So that's going to come in from the top this time. I may need to make my journal card a little bit smaller, but looks like it fits just fine. Um, and I may put a tab on it. Um, it depends what it looks like with, um, with the pocket on there. So that panel is essentially done apart from sticking down the ephemera. So as I say, we're going to have that there. And I wanted it to be like the, um, the pocket is kind of hidden by the CD wallet, almost. They're almost the same size. And this one there. Like so. Okay, so that's that side just gonna leave that to to sit for a moment right so now we need to decide what we're going to do with this junk mail envelope okay so I'm just having a little look at this window on the left hand side and we're gonna have this piece on the back um, I kind of like even though this is maybe more autumnal images um, I kind of liked that the red was reflected here as well as the green. So I kind of like how that goes, even if it is a different season. Um, now, where I'm struggling with is, if I take the card out, hang on. So you're going to see the security part of the envelope probably. Um, even if it's just the, like, the tiniest amount, you see you get that strip, and I really, really don't want that. So, I'm thinking about lining the, uh, lining that piece so that you don't see that. On top of that, we also need to line the envelope anyway, so when we take the card out of the window, um, I don't want to see this security part. So, here's what I'm thinking. For this piece, I think it will be enough just to have some book page. Um, and I'm purposefully going with something that is very text heavy. And you're only going to see a very, very small part of it. Um, the trouble is, it's not tall enough, is it? Change plan. We're going to use music sheet instead, um, just because, yeah, the book page wasn't going to be tall enough. So, I want to rip off a strip. It's maybe a couple of inches-ish. And that should be enough then to... Um, Yeah, just to cover up where it would be a security envelope. Whilst also, if I glue it across the crease, we can also give some strength to that um, that flap as well. So, I'm going to use the Kalal. And I had glued this envelope shut earlier, but I need it to be slightly open for me to... To get in so let's see if I can just open that just a tad and then that way I can slip right the way in with this piece oh is that too it's too tall isn't it <laughs> okay let's uh, take it to there okay right let's try that The thing with these, uh, this file folders is, you know, you can follow tutorials and everything, but at the end of the day, you've got to work with what envelopes you have and what pieces you have and what you've made and, and whatnot. So it does end up actually becoming, you know, you are still working it out as you go along kind of thing, which is nothing wrong with that. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Okay, so if we were to be there, think, I hope, that will be enough. So I just want to put a crease in, 
where my flap was because I don't want to lose the straightness of the flap. Yeah, that's just giving that li little bit of strength as well. So I'm just going to work that in and then just cut off any excess that I can see once it's dry. Okay, so now with that bit of music sheet, you just get a little glimpse of it, but it's way better than the what it would have looked like with the security envelope. So something like that. You only see a very small part, but it's enough that we know it's there. So that's that part done. Now we want to um, line the envelope with the Edith Holden. Okay. So I think if we take it off at the January, And then I'll just take it down to the text only. I don't think I've ever torn the Edith Holden paper before. Where it's so thick, it's <laughs> it's very different, tearing, tearing noise. And then just a tiny bit off the bottom. As I say, you won't see hardly any of this book page, but it's just the fact that, um, yeah, it will look better in the window. So then size wise, we take off about, about an inch, about there. Yeah, as you, um, as you might have seen by now, <laughs> I don't do measuring. Okay, okay, so let's just see size wise how we're doing. Yep, take a little bit more off the bottom. Let's just see that. down. <laughs> it's because my original plan was to have the window envelope on the other side and have it be a top window. Um, but uh, my ephemera was the other way around so I had to change my mind. Yeah so that will be fine um, and then obviously we just take off a, a slither from that side. appreciate this video might not be the the most succinct video because it is me you know just um sort of figuring things out as I'm going along you can have a bit of a plan but at the end of the day it's you can't really have a full plan until you actually start seeing the pieces decorated and the ephemera in and and such like okay so now comes the fun job of getting some glue on this thing and uh, not having it close up our pocket. So I'm using the Kalau again because it gives me the the uh, the wiggle room that I need. Like so. I hope this is interesting for you to see see things come together, but it's one of those things is. I would have been working on it regardless. Ooh. So I feel like sorry, I was just uh, concentrating <laughs> to get it in okay. Um, yeah, I feel like, actually, I'm just going to bring that over a little bit. 
so that you don't see the security part of the envelope when you actually open up the, the pocket or at least less of it anyway okay right let's smooth that out yeah as I say I would have been doing this anyway and so I feel like I should film these things really because some of you might find it helpful not all of you I appreciate that but some of you might and that's good enough for me <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Um, now I might change what I have in the window. Um, because originally, as I say, I was going to have it be a top a top window. So it was going to be these daisies. Now there's nothing wrong with what is in the window. But I just feel like maybe it could be a bit more exciting. So I might change that out, but that's fine. So that feels much stronger now, that flap as well, um, from adding that music sheet. So that's going to be somewhere there. And that's going to be on the back somewhere there. So that's looking good. Obviously a card in the window. Okay, so I've just been having a think about these, uh, these two back panels. Because um, I think we should be able to get those done today. Um, so on this side, I've just stuck down this one. Um, so I'm thinking about having something here in the way of a, a tuck or a pocket. And then you still get this daisy detail at the top. I think that would be quite nice. So that's that side. Um, I have decided what I'm doing with this envelope now. I'm going to do some, um, some kind of pretty papers on it. And then I want it to have a flap with a policy closure at the top. Because where I've turned the envelope upside down, we now have all of this big space at the top which wants some kind of focal point. So I'm thinking, if it if the envelope had been the other way and the window was up here, I would have done some kind of pocket or something or a tuck space. Because we flipped it, I'm going to have um, the policy closure flap up here. And then that way that just gives it some, um, you know, some kind of interest at the top. Um, which I think would look good. So we'll do that on the next video probably. Um, so for now though, I want to get the other back panel down. So I've got this um, Edith Holden text. Now I know that it doesn't go the whole way up the top, so obviously where the, um, the file folder dips like that. So I've gone with doing it to the bottom like the bottom level so about there and then here we could have some kind of fun detail we could have um you know an eyelet and some kind of dangle or we could have a label or something like that so that's just the thinking behind that so let's um let's get this glued on just like all the other mats that we've done um and then for this side i'm gonna have a fussy cut pocket which um i'll show you how i've done it or how i'm going to do it because um, I think that would look, you know, pretty and unique and interesting. So let's get this this in. I think I want it about about there. Okay. I am loving working on this. It's just I'm trying to like build it up as I go, simply because. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted, but it wasn't it wasn't crystal clear in my mind as to what I wanted. But I think I'm getting there now. So again, I'll, I'll go in with some extra glue in afterwards. Okay, so we've got that. Obviously, we're going to have this inside there, as we know. So I just keep putting the things in place so that I know what it looks like and all the rest of it sort of helps me helps me visualize so I've got this honeysuckle which I've cut from one of the pages um, and I was thinking not only is this kind of decorative but this section I think is meaty enough <laughs> for want of a better word to have some kind of pocket not for anything massive just a little tag or a piece of note paper something like that 
So if we were to glue those leaves down at the top here, we can then follow this to make some kind of pocket. And then I think these are strong enough that if they got caught a little bit, then it would, you know, they wouldn't tear or anything um, because they're not totally fragile. And I think that would look really pretty. And then of course you get um, the Edith Holden text the whole way down. So at first glance, it will just look like it's something decoration, but it is actually a pocket. So I realise I need to ink it. So I'm just going to hit pause whilst to do that. So I'll just be, I'll just be two secs. Okay, so are you ready? This is how <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do it. So um, I'm going to follow these lines, just like if I was gluing it down as an embellishment. So we'll have all that. And then we'll go down here. Oops. As I say, I'm not going to put anything heavy in it. But I just thought this would be... This would be interesting, whilst looking good as well. Okay, so we're going to do that. So that's the pocket side of things done. Uh, I think I might also do this bit because that's a bit fragile there. And then I want to do these leaves because I don't want that to be part of the pocket. I don't need that, that piece. So anything fragile. I'm going to stick all the way down. I'm hoping this will work. <laughs> I've never done a pocket like this, but I have seen it done by a few people. So I'm hoping it works out. So if we go to about there, I think is where I would like it to be. Oops, a bit over maybe. Okay, so, right, where did we glue? <laughs> okay, so those are nicely glued down, so they're not going anywhere. So is that. Just got to remember where I glued, that's the only thing with a, <laughs> a pocket like this. Okay, I think that's good. So then you get this as the pocket. Oh, that's my, <laughs> my face, hello. Um, you get this as the pocket. So yeah, you'll have to be careful with it when using it because obviously, you know, stuff like this can can get in the way. You can always cut off this piece maybe. So maybe that's not needed. That's um there's my little scissors. I'm thinking if I were to cut this piece like that. Um <clears throat> try and Try and get in there two secs. That might take away some of the the bit that was going to get in the way, I think. Oh yeah, I think that's better. So can we just ink that section? Yeah, Ooh, got some ink on there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so let's try that now. Yeah, I think that's better. So you won't get much in there. It's only this wide. Because obviously all of this section is glued, all of this section is glued. But that's, you know, imagine a tag in there. A nice tall tag. Um, that would look really cool, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> I think it looks cool. Um, and obviously once we start decorating up our pages, it's going to look really good. Okie dokie. So now I think just for the final thing today, because... Um, I think we're getting on a bit for time but um, I'm going to glue these in I think I'm ready for that now so I've chosen the dog rose paper bag pocket for this one um, I just need to decide I think I'm going to glue the whole thing down and have so we've got a pocket in the front here and in the paper bag the whole thing could be a pocket but I don't think I'm going to do that in this case because yeah, I don't think it's needed. It's only a little envelope it's going on. The only thing that I do want to do, I think, is put a thumb notch in the front to make it a bit easier to get into. So let me do that. Ooh, it's flicked me in the eye again. <laughs> Those things are dangerous. OK, 
Okay. Um, and then I just need to decide whether to line the inside of the paper bag or just to ink it. Oops. I think that should be fine, shouldn't it? So I'm going to glue the whole piece down. Um, so I'm going to use the, yeah, I'm going to use the Kalal, but I'm only going to do a thin layer because the Kalal can have a tendency to seep through thin materials because it's so wet. It's a very wet glue. So I'm putting on just a very thin layer. Oops. So have that, that like that. I might add some further embellishments to pieces. So for example, this, maybe we want to have something here or here. Um, it was just a very bog standard paper bag pocket that I just made, made a few of, you know. Cool, are we open there? Let's just double check that I haven't glued anything shut. Excuse me. Yeah, looking good there. Okay. So yeah, I think that is hidden. Now, I'll tell you what would be cool is if we could do some kind of policy closure with this, like here and here, to keep that, because it kicks up a little bit. So I'm thinking we could have policy closure, because if we're going to have one on here, they can kind of like, obviously we're going to have the journal in the way, but they kind of would mirror each other then. So I might think about doing that, because I can get in there nice and easy to put in a... Um, you know, a brad and everything. So I think I might think about that, but we'll, we'll do that next time. And then we've got this piece for here. Um, so I've chosen this one because we've got the nice pink, pink in the window. Um, and because this one is already a pocket and a tuck, again, I'm just gonna glue the whole thing down because there's not really any room for anything else to go there. Um, do I want a thumb notch in this? I think I'm going to have a tab on the actual card itself. Um, I still need to back this card, but yeah, I think I'm going to have a, a tab on it. It's just whether a thumb notch would be make things a bit easier, wouldn't it? So I think we probably will. Oh, I need to I need to line this envelope. Oh, well, there you go. So if I put a thumb notch in and then we'll get this envelope lined, but I'll do that. I'll do that off camera, I think, um, because I have a feeling this video has run on a, a little bit. I can't even see where that went, the, uh, the piece. OK, so I won't stick that down just yet then. I completely forgot about lining them. Um, so I'll get the I'll get that journal card sorted. I'll line the envelope, and then we'll get that, and then I'll stick that down. So when we come back uh, next time for part two, um, that will be that will be done. Um, still need to, as I say, I want to do a policy closure, I think, and I need to decide what I'm going to have on the CD wallet. I'm thinking probably a side tuck of some kind or a, yeah, either a side tuck or a little cluster detail that becomes a tuck spot. Maybe that policy closure idea. And we'll do the envelope next time as well. I think that will look really cool. So we're going to do a, yeah, some pretty papers on the front. I definitely think I want to change what's in the window, maybe. Although I do like that again. The red and white is mirrored there. But, oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> the uh, little thingy. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do we'll do the envelope next week, uh, next time, part two. Um, and we will um, figure out this CD wallet, I think. Um, and then, in the meantime, I'll have a think about what I want for this back panel. Um, as I say, I want something that sort of goes maybe to there, like halfway up. 
um, I would like some kind of like fold out um, writing spot that becomes a tuck spot and a pocket as well. So I might have a look around Pinterest and YouTube and just see if I can find a tutorial for something like that. And then that would be quite cool, I think. So I think we have made quite good progress today, part one. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed um, hanging out with me, seeing this come together. And um, I hope to see you on part two. For now, though, I will bid you good day. <laughs> oh, gosh, that sounds so formal. Um, I'll say goodbye and uh, I'll see you on the next uh, on the next video. And um, uh, have a great rest of your day, evening, weekend, um, whichever day this goes up. And we'll speak soon. Bye bye for now.